Hey, it's Hoz here, and today I have a great tool to share with you, and I'm hoping that it's going to be a bit of a surprise. It seems to be, in my experience, with everybody that I tell. So this is dictation software, but it's free dictation software, and it comes from no one other than Google. So let's dive in and take a look. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to type in Google Docs into a browser and find the Google Docs website. So if you click on that, it may take you to the home page. Just click on go to Google Docs. By the way, you'll need a Google account. So if you haven't done that for some reason, just sign up. It's free. And I realize that you may use Microsoft Office, and I did for many years. In fact, I still have Microsoft Office installed on my machine, but I also use Open Office because I like the simpler interface on that. But I also started using Google Docs uh, a few years ago, and really it was for the cloud convenience. Now, I know that Microsoft Office now have Office on the cloud, but I use Google Docs almost exclusively now. And there's one little handy feature that many people don't seem to know about, at least when I tell them. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I've just clicked on a blank document and here's the clever feature. You can go to tools in the menu and go to voice typing and all that you do there. Obviously, as you click on this, you'll get a mic and you start talking and the screen fills up with words. Now I'm going to show you that so you can see exactly how that works. But let me just say that I've used dictation software over the years because I used to type a lot. And back when I was doing a lot of freelancing work years ago, I had a lot of clients and it meant spending almost a quarter of my day replying to emails. And I thought I have to find a better way of doing this. So I invested in some software. It was called Dragon Dictate or something like that. It was, it was the Dragon software, but I just can't remember exactly the title of it. And back then, that was the software. That was the most advanced software. But you used to have to sit there reading all these passages to train it, to train it to understand your accent. And it used to struggle with mine. So after about 20 minutes or half an hour of repeating these passages over and over again for the software to try and map the way that I say things to the words that were on the screen, even after that was done, the accuracy of the software, in my case, um, wasn't great. Now, if you have a voice for radio and it's crystal clear, then that kind of software can work really well for you. But in my case, I still had to do a lot of edits. Now, fast forward a few years, Google's speech engine is second to none. Now, to be fair, I don't know what the Dragon people are up to these days. It's been a long time since I've used their software, and I'm sure that it's a lot better these days. But the one thing that we all know is that Google has very deep pockets. So if they want to get something right, they have the money to spend. And as I say, the speech engine is unbelievable. It's just super accurate, even with me. <laughs> it understands me. Finally, someone or something understands me. And what's more, you don't have to train it. You don't have to sit there reading passages. You just switch it on, you start talking, and it starts writing on the screen. And whether you're writing a book or a story or an essay, or you're just replying to emails, this can be a great time saver. So with all this said, I'm now going to show you how to do this, but I'm going to have to turn my recording off and then do a new recording where I'm not actually speaking so that I can engage the mic and talk. And then you'll see the words on the screen and I'll add this on the video. So let's go and do that now. Okay, so this is the new video and I've just realized that I can indeed actually speak as I record the screen. I don't know why it was grayed out before, but all I've done is I've given the document a title, just anything random. So if your voice tool is actually grayed out, try that, try giving it a title and you can even try saving it. And then you actually have a real document to work on. So let me do this little test. I'm gonna click on voice typing and then it says click to speak. So it does give you time. You can sip your coffee and just get ready. 
and <laughs> oh look English US yeah you actually have different options here okay so English United Kingdom obviously is going to be mine so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to speak hello this is a test of me speaking okay so I've clicked the mic off and you can see that you don't have to speak like a robot like with the old dictation software sometimes you would have to speak like a robot and slowly and really pronounce your words well in order for the software to be able to understand you with this you can go as quickly as you want so I'm going to click on uh, the mic again and I'm just going to rifle through more stuff okay today is Tuesday the 25th of November and I actually got that wrong it's actually the 21st of November and this is a video presentation of me demoing this speech to text software which is completely free and it comes as part of Google Docs and I think everyone should be using this if they are interested in talking actually everyone is interested in talking especially me what I mean is anyone who is interested in saving time will probably find this software really useful because it enables them to just speak their answers and hey if you're writing a novel then even this can help okay so I've switched that off now you can see that in terms of accuracy this thing is about 99% accurate there's a little thing here and there like it enables them to just speak the answers that was actually their answers but that's down to my accent and the way I say things and I suppose I could work on that a little bit and speak a little bit more clearly in fact if I spoke just a little bit slower and made my words a little bit clearer then it would probably save me a lot of time editing but by comparison you know that when you're typing a paragraph like this on an email and you have to think of your answer you can be spending one or two minutes just polishing that paragraph so even with important communications you can have the basis of your conversation done and dusted in just a few seconds just like this and then you can edit that and just add that finishing touch but yeah super useful tool love it to bits I don't use any other dictation software this is the only one that I use and the only one that I need so I hope that you can use this in your day-to-day -day stuff because it really is handy and as I said at the beginning it's free while you're here please subscribe to the channel and that way you don't miss any of these resources that I keep putting out and on that note take it easy and I will see you in the next video